We have a great project for you. I'm with Wayne from Little Baja and Hall Boulevard. And Wayne, we have a strawberry jar here, and sometimes these are tricky to plant. Uh, they're not really that tricky. It's just mostly uh, people uh, uh, tend to get uh, fill them too full of dirt, and then they they're hard to water. And that's it's not hard to plant. They're just hard to water. All right. But, but they're not hard to water if you do it correctly. And I see here you have like a nine hole pocket, but you have other ones available here at La Baja. Yes, we sell all the way from the three pocket up to the 20 pocket, but the nine pocket is the most popular style most people buy because they're not, it's not that expensive to fill all the pockets up with whatever you want to put in them. All right, so I know you've selected strawberries for yes. a strawberry jar, yes. Yes. and you have some great soil here, and that's I've, very important. Yes, I've chose uh, black gold here because it uh, is loose, it has a, uh, it, it retains moisture, and it will always, uh, you allow the water to drain through it so it doesn't uh, yeah, stay too moist. Right, so let's get started. Let's see, we want to start filling up at the yeah, bottom. Yeah. First we want to just go up to the first level. Okay, a little more there? Yeah, a little more, that's fine, that's fine. All right. And then as we do each pocket, we're going to take a strawberry plant and we're going to pull it through, spread out the roots and cover it up. And we're going to do each level as we go up. Okay. So as not to have to fight the dirt as we go. Well, that makes sense. So start from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. And this is a great ever-bearing one, so we'll have strawberries all season. Yeah, this whole, uh, these, uh, these strawberries will grow and produce fruit all season long. You want to get them in there and tuck them in, get them nice and tight. And do you have to use just strawberries, or can we use other kind of plant material? Well, as you can see from the, uh, the sample down here to uh, your left, we've planted a large strawberry jar with flowers and perennials. And they can be uh, put in, actually you can plant with anything you want to. I guess we're going to need some more, more soil. soil. Okay. And it takes lots, lots of soil. Okay, that's good for that level. Well, but I think the more soil, then you have the better soil volume for more roots. It stays more healthy. It'll stay more moist once we get into warmer weather. Wayne, I noticed that you're watering as we're filling up the plants with the plants. Yes, I want to, you know, soak down that soil real good and make sure it gets all the way through and that the soil is compacted down real good. And then what would the saucer be? I see you have one here. Well, in days when it's really, really hot, and if you're having trouble keeping the plant, uh, the planter moist, you might put it in a saucer, and, and then the saucer will help maintain the water that drips out the bottom and kind of keep it, help keep it moist. But you don't want to leave it in there through the winter time because that'll fill up with water, freeze, and break. All right. So uh, you just, it, that's only if you really want to keep it nice and moist. Most strawberries don't need a whole lot of water. They just like to be watered every day and like lots of sun. Now, should I fill this all the way up to the top to finish this off? No, you just want to fill it up to the top where the neck comes up okay. to the bottom. And that's where most people make the mistake. They fill it all the way to the top, and then when you water it, all the soil rushes over the top. If you leave yourself a reservoir like this, then you can fill and drain and fill and drain. And you want to make sure as you're packing it down in here that the soil is packed in really good and tight and so that it doesn't run out the holes as you're watering. Do you want to show on this finished one and then you could really show us how to water it and so that everybody yeah. gets that idea and well, gets see, that visual. Yeah, on the top one, on this one here, we've left a couple inches and it'll start settling down as mm -hmm. you go and it'll fill up and then just let it drain and be patient with it and just mm -hmm. let it drain. If you have a, a good loose soil like black wool here, then it will, it'll just perk all the way through. Of course, this is good and soaked and heavy from the heavy rain this last day, <laughs> so it's not really, really thirsty. But you see it does go down and just to be patient and as long as you have a nice reservoir, the, the, the soil won't rush all the way over the top and you get lots of water in there. You know, that's a great tip. I know a lot of people are hesitant about got strawberry pots, but come out to Little Baja and talk to your staff and you get all these tips and be successful with your strawberry jars at home. All right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.